platform. We're located at gmap1.com, gmap, the number one.com. And I want you to do me a favor. Click on the tab that is simply titled Children's Authors, and you will see, I'm sorry, Featured Authors, and you will see a copy of her current publication we're going to be talking about today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes, I want you to help me by putting your hands together and welcome uh, Jennifer Scott to our broadcast. Jennifer, good afternoon. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Oh, please. You know, that's a loaded question for me. I, I <laughs> Oh, my good. If you cannot tell, I must be slipping. I tell you, and I thank you so much. We're here on today, How to Write an Eye-Catching Book Proposal in Five Easy Steps. Wow. But for, before we get into that, I want you to do me a kind favor. Introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Who is Jennifer Scott? Hi there. Um, well, I'm an artist originally from the Ozark Mountains. I grew up in um, Marshfield, Fair Grove in Marshfield, Missouri. And um, I came to Philadelphia, which is where I live now, in uh, 1999 to go to art school. And I've mainly worked, uh, besides doing art and writing books, I work with kids that uh, have special education needs with various different school districts. Hmm, that sounds interesting. And of course, you know, I want you to, you know, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about this uh, brand new book publication that you have uh, that is released and out there for the people uh, to, you know, appreciate how to write an eye-catching book proposal in five easy steps. Why don't you break down? Tell me a little bit about that, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, well, I was teaching at a reform school for several years, and um, and I got to the point where I felt like I needed to go past that role as a teacher and start working in educational research. So I worked with bigger and bigger school districts, and through that, I learned to write educational research. So I was doing a lot of ghost writing, and I help people put together their research into books. A lot of people are doing some really interesting things in education out there, working with students with emotional disabilities, with learning disabilities, uh, helping gifted students find their, you know, their true stream so they're able to do engineering or math or art or whatever, you know, their gifts are in. And, um, and so I was helping people put those together into books. Um, and uh, through that, I learned the process of pitching, pitching books, and also self-publishing. Mm. And and uh, it was really cool to work with those. I think a lot of them are like principals or superintendents of large school districts, and uh, and they, you know, while they're amazing educators, they needed a little extra help getting things together. And uh, from that, I um, I outlined what you know, what the process is. And I thought there are people in other industries that I don't know that might really have a good idea. Or maybe they just want to put together their memoir so, you know, the people in their lives can understand the stories that they come from. Mm, wow. So, so, so now I want to ask you this. What would be, you know, one of your, I guess you can say, recommendations and or early you know, uh, suggestions for those individuals that want to get out and be a author and write their own book. What would be your, one of your number one suggestions for them? Just to start doing it. I mean, everybody doesn't know how to do something until they do it. You know, there's nobody that is born and uh, goes out and roofs a house. They, they go to school for that or they work with somebody who's a mentor and they learn how to you know, put down the tar paper and how to put on the shingles and what nails to use and what types of silicone to use and different things. Um, but it's a process. So if they have an idea that they want to talk about, you know, they should just start making notes and right. kind of outlining what their ideas are. Right, right. Now, 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 is this, in fact, one of your first uh, publication releases or is this like a follow-up? Uh, to something that you've previously written before? It's the first one I published under my name. So when I was working with other people, I did some ghostwriting and I did some publication, but it was, you know, in partnership, you know, 
with other people. And so my name was silent on a lot of those. You'll find my name on a few education research articles, but not not all of them I've written. Hmm. Now, 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 if 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 you take a quick glance over where it all began for you and where you are right this present moment, I, I mean, where do you go from here? What's next for Jennifer Scott? I want to do a lot more writing and a lot more artwork. I've been working on a science fiction book for several years, and I just got that back from um, a content edit, and then it's going to go for a you know a second edit, and I'm doing the artwork for it, and um, I'm pretty excited about that. Just this past week, I published um, a book of sketches called Dogs of Fishtown, and it's drawings of... Um, dogs from my part of Philadelphia. People mm -hmm. have been really, really excited about that. Um, just more artwork and more writing. I, uh, I really enjoy it and I, I want to continue. Uh, now, 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 if we, and I know we do have some uh, current up and coming, want to get started on their journey writers. Uh, I mean, what's a way that they could possibly reach out to you on a more, I guess you could say individual basis and maybe discuss you know, what their process may be, how they go about it, what they need to do, contact, resources, and things of that nature. How will they connect with you on a more individual basis? Well, they could find me on um, Facebook at Pen and Ink Drawings by Jen Scott. They could email me at jscottartist at gmail. They, they could um, reach out to me on Instagram at jenannanique. Um, and I'll, I'll provide all the contact details for that, but I, I'm always glad to share, um, ideas and I do take on people for coaching. Um, I charge $75 an hour for coaching and tutoring, and I work with people of all different levels. You know, some of my students that I work with in writing are just learning how to write sentences and right, right. some of them are ready to publish the next great novel so so anything that people want to talk about about writing you know i'm available for and if it and, and i know that you know we want to uh, encourage those to go out and uh first and foremost for those of you that don't know uh now you know uh jennifer is one of our featured authors on the gmap broadcast network you can always stop by our platform gmap1.com uh click on the tab that is simply titled featured authors you will see a copy of the publication that I am currently showing you on our television screen, how to write an eye catching book proposal in five easy steps. Click on that cover and it will take you to the necessary location to find out more intimate information and details about the author as well as the publication. Now, for those that do want to go out and, and purchase, download, receive a copy of your current publication, Jennifer, what would be the process? Where is it available? How can it be? Uh, how can it be received? It's available on Amazon, and it's soon to be available through Barnes and Noble. I have a couple of I have a couple of uh, books that are available through Barnes and Noble, and I'm going through the process of getting everything approved and having it that way. But they're they've been available on Barnes and Noble for a little while. Um, the eye-catching book proposal. Um, there's also a companion journal mm -hmm. um, that is uh, like writing prompts. I, I work with a lot of juniors and seniors who are getting together their college essays and they have to write about themselves for the first time. And um, and that's a big struggle for them. So mm -hmm. I, um, and I thought about that in uh, how people might use the book. And so I made a companion journal um, that's also up on Amazon. Uh, so now, 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 I have to ask this. Now, we always, always hear about, you know, all the 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 things that are necessary uh, in the process of being an author, writing a book, uh, proposing, and things of that nature. But what do you see in any way, shape, form, or fashion as a downside to being an author today? Um. It's always, everything is always more work than it seems like it's going to be. Like when I decided I wanted to write a book, I just started writing a book uh, because I wanted to. And right. I didn't know if I would publish it or not. I was just doing something to entertain myself. The The pandemic had started 
um, schools were closed. I had uh, moved out of my art studio uh, and I'd sold my house and moved into a really small place and I needed to entertain myself. So I just started doing it. Mm. Um, and then I thought, well, this some of this stuff might be good enough. I could actually use it to help other people or some of these stories are kind of interesting. I should, I should maybe publish them. And then I needed to um, find an editor and I didn't know how to do that. Um, and I needed to get cover design things done. And um, it's been so long since I used Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator or those types of things that I, and I, I'd forgotten how to use InDesign. So I needed to pay someone to do that. And mm. so there was a learning curve. Um, so the downsides are, are finding good people to hire. And now uh, the first editor I hired was just terrible. I paid them a lot of money. I worked with them for a while, like several months, and they were just terrible. And they kept trying to said, sell me a website or tell me I should do a five book series and I could pay them more money, but they never did the, you know, the first job right. that I hired them to do. And hmm. so... And I'm not very good at like having negative conversations with people because I work with special ed kids and a lot of them come from, from having a lot of negative conversations and they don't respond well to that. I try really hard to frame everything positively, but there's no way to frame positively like, I'm sorry, you're a terrible editor. You need to be fired. Mm -hmm. So, so that was a big, big downside. So you have to find the right people and, um, and people who are good cost money. So you have to kind of budget your money and set aside and then invest in yourself. Right, right. And for some people that can be really hard. Um, so those are, I think that's the biggest one. Like, Right. Now, 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 of course, before I let you go, I want you uh, to just in, in your own way uh, uh, share, you know, your words of encouragement to all of those up and coming authors, those that want to begin their journey as an author, uh, and, and, you know, take the steps that's ne that is necessary, uh, seek out the resources, uh, do the uh, appropriate marketing and things of that nature. I, I, I want you to share your, you know, just from the bottom of your heart, you know, your words of encouragement to them, as well as be sure to reach out to me and let me know of all of the things that you have coming up, uh, upcoming events, book signings, and things of that nature. We would love to make sure we share all of that information to as many people as we possibly can around the world. And then, I mean, I appreciate you, uh, number one, for being here with us today. Number two, accepting the invitation to be a part of the GMAP Broadcast Network family. But I'm going to move over. I'm going to let you share your words of encouragement to all of those up and coming authors. I'm going to move over and I'm going to tell you, Jennifer Scott, the floor is yours. Well, thank you so much. Like I, I'm really grateful, you know, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be part of this. I, you know, as a young person, I never in a million years would sort have of seen myself as publishing one book and now I'm at 10. Um, and it was, it was a hard road to get here. I, uh, and what I would say to people who uh, thought they have an interesting story, you know, just start writing it. And if people say anything about that you can't do something or that it's, that it's silly or it's too much money or, you know, you need to do something else, if you think you're hard to do, then you should do that. You know, as a child, I struggled with learning disabilities, and I had some people that were very positive in my life that said, you know, go ahead and do whatever you want to do. And if you can't learn it one way, learn it another way. And I, I framed my teaching practice with those words. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people can't do things the way, a standard way, but there's other ways to do it. Some people have the most interesting stories early in life. Some people have the most interesting stories late in life. There's never a time to start. The time to start is whenever, you know, you're ready and you feel in your heart, you have something to say. And then you just kind of start. And yeah. um, the best way to learn something is to start doing it. Right. Right. Wow. 
Well, I appreciate that so much. Uh, I appreciate you being here today. I appreciate you being a part of the family. And uh, once again, if there's anything uh, we can do here at GMAP uh, to assist you along your journey, please don't hesitate to call and let me know. And uh, I mean, pick up the phone, call me, don't text, chat, tweet, call me and let me hear your voice. And of course, when you do that, there's two things I want you to know. The answer will always be yes, and you'll never have to ask me twice, okay? No, oh, thank you so much. I um, if anybody's in the Philadelphia area, I will be at uh, um, Hilltop Books in Chestnut Hill, uh, February the 23rd, um, with an author event. And um, then I'll have a few dates for my book tour for my newest book in um, Philadelphia in March. Outstanding. So you heard it right here on the GMAP Broadcast Network. If you're there, make sure you show your love, care, concern, and support. And when you do, if you purchase the book off uh, from Amazon, please don't hesitate to take a few moments and go back and leave a review. Please leave a review. It's very important. Uh, I'm sure Jennifer will appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. Amazon appreciate it. You know, and the people that are on the outside looking in, making, you know, a consideration to purchase a copy of the current publication, they will appreciate it as well. So please be sure when you show your love, care, concern and support, purchase a copy, leave a review. And Jennifer, I thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you have a fantabulous rest of your evening. Continue to be blessed and be a blessing to others. And I look forward to talking with you again real soon. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. I really appreciate you being here. I tell you. All right. So you have a great day. I'm wishing you the best and I'm hoping to hear from you real soon. I'll let you know uh, where, you know, where we all go from here, but until then you have a wonderful day and you have a blessed evening. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care. Jennifer Scott, one of our featured authors here on the GMAP Broadcast Network. Yours truly, Pastor Kevin, doing what I love. And of course, I love what I'm doing right here on the number one station in the nation, GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. Stay close. Don't move. More music and more stuff on the way right here on the number one station in the nation, GMAP Broadcast Network, gmap one Dot com. Don't move. We'll be back soon.